Depending on how you play, The Lost Sinner may or may not be your first run-in with a very explicit callback to Dark Souls 1. The Lost Sinner seems to be at least partially animated by a chaos bug from Dark Souls 1, which in turn may or may not be the somehow surviving soul of the Witch of Isolith. None of that is really important to Dark Souls 2, though, where The Lost Sinner has sealed herself away in the Sinner's Rise, punishing herself for some long-forgotten sin. And the first time I saw her, I certainly didn't read her design as female. Her mask even has what seemed to be a beard on it. So once again, we're looking at a character who's operating with a split or distorted identity. Not only literally wearing a mask, but if the bug is in control, the whole body might count as a kind of mask, a fake self that it puts on in order to protect itself. And again, it's not hard to see the psychological themes inherent in those ideas. Kafka's metamorphosis comes easily to mind, and pioneering psychoanalyst Carl Jung absolutely loved talking about identity in terms of masks. How exactly you interpret her is up to you, obviously, but I see a portrait of how deeply shame and self-hate and self-isolation can distort and destroy a person from the inside. Subscribe here for shorts to see my detailed analysis of this character over on my main channel.